oh, excuse me, I'm just off to go deliver some more boring evidence-based nutrition advice around hormone health and not the super clickbaity and outrageous things that all the influencers on the internet say about your hormones. So buckle up. First, what are hormones? Hormones are involved in almost everything that happens in our body. We all have hormones that impact sleep, stress, mood, hunger and metabolism, just to name a few. There are sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen. There are hormones involved in blood sugar regulation like insulin and glucagon. Hormones are involved in our fight or flight response like epinephrine, also known as adrenaline. We have hormones that tell us we're hungry, like ghrelin, and hormones that tell us when we're full, like leptin. These hormones send signals to our brain and are directing many different processes and functions in our bodies. While there isn't a magical solution for healthier hormones, there are things you can do to help support optimal hormone function in your body. We're going to focus on foods today with some lifestyle tips, but if you have specific concerns, definitely chat with your healthcare practitioner. The advice around what to eat to support hormonal health is pretty boring, which may be disappointing because everyone is always looking for a quick fix or shocking new way of eating, but I think it's actually nice that it's basic. Things like having a consistent eating schedule, eating three meals per day, eating mostly whole foods, a variety of foods, supporting your body with adequate calories, carbohydrates, and nutrients, getting enough fiber, eating omega-3 rich foods, and not eating too much added sugar are all important to keep your hormones healthy. That's just general healthy eating advice too, so you can't really go wrong. If you're curious about eating to help manage menstrual symptoms, make sure you're eating enough calories to support your cycle. Enjoy balanced meals with protein, healthy carbohydrates, and healthy fats along with vegetables to help support your blood sugar. And no, while there is a lot of noise on cycle syncing, there isn't a lot of research to support it. Eating fruits and vegetables, omega-3 rich seafood, and fermented foods may be extra beneficial. Limiting added sugar and ultra processed foods can also help support your hormones. If you want to eat to help improve stress hormones like cortisol, try eating a Mediterranean style diet. One recent study compared a Mediterranean diet, which emphasizes whole foods, vegetables, whole grains, healthy fats, seafood, and is low in added sugars and ultra processed foods to a healthy dietary guidelines way of eating with a little more red meat and poultry. The Mediterranean diet group had lower levels of fasting morning cortisol, showing an impact on the stress hormone. The Mediterranean diet has been linked with lots of other health benefits and also might help with hormone health. Low carb diets or ketogenic diets do have their place, but when it comes to stress hormones, carbohydrates can actually help keep your cortisol levels in check and low carb diets may elevate cortisol. Eating a lot of refined carbohydrates and added sugar isn't great for your hormones either, so it's important to find a balance. When it comes to stress hormones and our diet, it's also important to not add to our already stressful lives by really stressing out about our diets. If you're someone who prefers having some food guidelines in place, great. But if you're obsessing over everything you eat or have created some really strict food rules around all your meals, it may be time to ease up, especially if you notice it's stressing you out. That's not helping your hormones, so step back and reassess, and that might help. If you're wondering what to eat for better blood sugar balance, so think hormones like insulin and glucagon, following a consistent eating schedule, not overdoing it on refined carbohydrates, and balancing out complex carbs with protein, fat, and vegetables can help. You don't want to overload your bloodstream with big spikes of sugar, causing your body to release a lot of insulin at once. If we can moderate our carbohydrate intake, make sure to add fiber-rich foods, protein-rich foods, and healthy fats, which take longer to digest, those hormones will be able to stay more steady and your body will be able to better respond. Think rolling waves versus giant roller coaster peaks and valleys. If you want to eat to help yourself sleep better, try melatonin rich foods. Melatonin is a hormone your body makes and certain foods are rich in melatonin as well, like tart cherries, almonds, eggs, and fish. Getting enough sleep is crucial for hormone production in your body. A lot of things happen while we're catching some Z's. So having a good sleep routine is helpful for overall hormone health. Cut out alcohol late in the evening, which can disrupt sleep and avoid caffeine later in the day as well. Also, don't have kids. Just kidding. Can you tell my three-year-old's not sleeping right now, which means that I'm not sleeping right now? Do I look tired? I'm just gonna go drink some tart cherry juice when we're done here. Make myself a little mocktail. Jokes aside, if you've been diagnosed with a hormonal or endocrine disease, or are concerned you might have one like diabetes, hypo or hyperthyroidism, Hashimoto's disease, Graves' disease, or Addison's disease, 
definitely speak with your healthcare team about your treatment. Each person is going to have different needs. Hormones are complex, and I feel like we've barely scratched the surface. If you want to take a deeper dive into a topic, let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get more from me and Healthline.